What New Balance does, better than anyone in the world, is we have the perfect blend of technology and craftsmanship. It takes a lot of people to create a single pair of shoes, and Boston-based New Balance is doing that work right here in New England. New Balance got their start in Boston in 1906, making arch supports. In 2022, the company expanded manufacturing to Methuen. Chronicle got a look inside. Here, they're making one of the brand's iconic sneakers. When we talk about New Balance, it ties back to 990. It was introduced first in 1980, and it was our first $100 running shoe. This is where we, we pile and sort our pigskin. Vice President of Manufacturing Kevin McCoy says they rely on both technology and the human touch to transform flat materials into something you can wear. I'm going to show you right now is our computer stitching capabilities. And what we've been able to do here is implement technology where te technology is able to remove some of those ergonomic issues. A second round of sewing and stitching is executed by a team of workers. We need to close the shoe to, to create a three-dimensional form. No robot has been created that can out craftsmanship an individual. We've got a great group of people here. At least 70% of these shoes and their components are made in the U.S., but some pieces are imported like the soles. When it's time to attach the soles, New Balance turns to the spray bot. Historically, this has been done by individuals with a paintbrush. The nozzle will spray adhesive only along the areas where we want that to be. The sewn uppers then fit onto a foot-shaped form, and a press attaches the sole. And this is what we will pack up and ship to our consumers. More than a century after New Balance was founded in Boston, McCoy says the company takes pride in making shoes in New England. The reason for our Methuen expansion was our flagship facilities in Lawrence. Uh, we've been there since the 1970s. Creating a strong manufacturing base at home is required, and New Balance is at the forefront of that effort. You might not know their name, but you certainly know what they make. Roadie Rug in Lincoln, Rhode Island is manufacturing braided rugs in all the colors of the rainbow. This one right here is a wool rug. It's our story of Blue Dragon. It's one of our most popular rugs that we carry currently. The one that surprises me the most, and it's gone out of here like wildfire, is our Country Jewel Paradox. It's this green one. It's a very beautiful rug, a lot of colors. Scott Weldon has been company president since 2020, but Rody Rug dates back decades. It actually was incorporated in 1987, but we had been making braided rugs prior to that. I have some employees that have been here 37 years. So this is one of the braids for our rugs. Weldon says it's what's inside Rody Rugs, something the buyer can't see, that makes all the difference. Our filler, we like to call it kind of proprietary to us. We make the filler. Brody Rug uses yarn made from polypropylene, a type of resin, to create their filler. These knitting machines are the same that make your shoelaces. That's why it looks like a giant shoelace. Our filler acts as a water repellent, so you can actually wash our poly rugs with a garden hose. The color in the braided rugs comes from a second layer of yarn wrapped around the filler. Here you have the filler that we were looking at before, fed from behind, comes underneath the machine, in through these two tubes. The yarn is being braided around the filler. That's what's making our braid. This is also where all the color changes happen for a rug. Charts track each rug's pattern. Workers switch out bobbins of yarn to create different rings of color in the final product. Braids feed into barrels, which are rolled over to sewers to assemble. Special tables help move the heavy rugs. If a sewer is sewing a large rug, let's say a seven by nine, they wouldn't be able to physically move it around. So we have, for lack of a better word, giant air hockey tables where the air blows up from underneath to kind of float, and then they're able to move it with one hand. Finished rugs are inspected before they're shipped out. California, New Mexico, Florida, you name it, we've shipped the rugs there. And it's fun to see a lot of fun names that come through. Jimmy Kimmel, we shipped some of their Barbara Streisand recently. We see all kinds of celebrities ordering rugs and it's kind of fun. We're pretty proud that we make it right here on Rhode Island, but it's really my team that makes that magic happen. They make it look very easy, but it's not. 
It's amazing. Rody Rugg says they are always adding technology. They just added actually some counters and some lights um, so that everyone will know when the braiding machines mm -hmm. are starting to run out of material from the bobbins. So that makes sense. They're so popular. And back to New Balance, a lot of the materials used to make the shoes are actually from New England as well. Mm. Plastic pieces from Newburyport, textiles from Haverhill, and laces from Rhode Island. All local.